Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another supplement review. Today we will be having a look at another protein powder and as you probably know by the heading already it is the Body Science Violet Crumble Protein Powder. I got this stuff at my local grocery store on special and I thought I would give it a try. Violet Crumble Protein Powder sounds pretty good. There's 10 servings in the pack and what I'll do I'll put the usual price up here of what it would normally cost and then I'll also put the price of what I paid for it on special when I bought this particular packet. It's still sealed as you can see, I haven't tried it yet and this is a taste test review or a review of the quality of the protein powder. I mean it's just protein powder, I'm not going to drink this stuff and then notice any difference or notice anything apart from how it tastes and what it's like. Now there's 10 servings in the pack. Each serving has 26.8 grams of protein. It says it is high protein, low carb and low fat. Now what they call low carb, I call it the higher side of carbs. It's got 4.5 grams of carbohydrates per serving and three grams of which is sugar. And again, it's got 28.8 grams of protein and there's 150 calories per serving. And then it lists all the amino acids and the protein powder. Now this is also a protein blend of WPC, MPC and WPI and it recommends one serving per day. You do adjust the flavour with protein powders to make them stronger or weaker depending on how much water you add or how much milk you add. I have them with water, I don't use milk. Now it recommends 250 to 350 ml per servings per 40 grams of protein powder. So I'm going to go right in the middle with 300 ml of water. Here's my shaker and it's got 300 ml of ice cold water in it. So let's open this up and we'll give it a try. See what this stuff tastes like. This is what it looks like here. It smells like chocolate basically just smells like chocolate. I'll get some out for you so you can have a look at it before we blend it up. There you go, this is what it looks like. It just looks like chocolate protein powder and this is half a serving. You're supposed to put two of these into your shaker. So let's do that now. So there's our shaker. First one going in. Second one going in. Let's put the lid on. Close it up, shake it up. Now it does have the agitating ball in there to agitate your mixture. So it's frothed up a fair bit. It's gone to about 500 mil, from 300 mil to 500 mil. So uh, let's taste it, see what it's like. Mmm. It's very, very sweet, so it must have a fair bit of artificial sweetener in it. It's nice and creamy. It's got no strange aftertastes. Nothing major anyway, nothing unusual for protein powder. It tastes more like a chocolate protein powder than a honeycomb. It does have a slight honeycomb flavour. But if you told me this was a chocolate protein shake, I'd almost believe it. Like, it's not distinctively violet crumble where I'd go, yes, definitely, that's what it is. Yeah, chocolate protein powder with a slight taste of honeycomb. I do believe they could have had a bit more of a violet crumble flavour, a little bit more honeycomb. It's basically just chocolate. For honeycomb violet crumble flavour, I'll probably give it a six and a half out of ten. Overall, for just a protein shake, taste wise, it's quite pleasant. I'll probably give it a seven out of ten overall. It's not too foamed up in your mouth, it's nice and creamy. It's reasonably sweet, it's not excessive, it is pleasant to drink. 
I, I'm happy to drink this. I'll be using it. I, I, I just wish the honeycomb flavour was a little bit stronger. And I also wish the carbs would be a little bit lower than 5 grams or whatever it was that I said. Let's finish this and I'll get on with my day. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's pretty good. Now if you've tried that stuff yourself, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Also let me know what your favourite protein powder is if you use protein powder. I don't have protein powder every day. I do have it sometimes and I am training in the gym pretty much every day at the moment. So I have been having more protein shakes. I generally just buy them on special. I'm still doing the review videos for the bulk nutrients protein powders that will be out in a few weeks time. I don't have protein powder enough to be getting through all those protein samples in a quick amount of time. Now if you enjoyed this video do me a favour and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.